I want to put the shear pins into this rocket. Um, the purpose of the shear pins is to keep the nose cone attached um, until it needs to come off when the ejection charge goes off. Now, this is a dual deployment rocket and the eBay is right here. And for the eBay, we're using the removable rivets. And these are, are so thick that they won't, they won't shear. Uh, but the shear pins, are these little tiny things here, and they're so small and they're made out of nylon that they are designed to shear in half. Um, and shear means to cut. So once they're used, that's it. They're, you throw them away and you just replace them between flights. Um, and these are threaded, so we're going to use a number two, 256 tap to put these in. And I have my drill already set up. Um, now, before you do that, check your nose cone. And as you can see, I got a little bit of a gap right here where the nose cone is on. And that's because this is a fiberglass nose cone. And it's got a little bit of extra resin right there along the seams. So I want to take an X-Acto knife or a razor blade and first trim that off because I want that nice and tight. Okay, so now the gap is gone, so that's good. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to tape the nose cone on so that it stays in place. So I'm just going to line up. I've already pre-drawn lines on the tube, and I'm going to be putting in three, three holes. And so this makes sure that the nose cone's not going to move around on me. Um, and I can see where my shoulder is, and it doesn't matter where the shear pins go, except I don't want them to go into the bulkhead, because I've got a bulkhead on the base of the shoulder. So I know that bulkhead's near the bottom, so I'm going to put it above that. And every time a shear pin breaks, it's going to go inside the nose cone, it's going to rattle around. So just kind of be aware of that. So I'm just going to tape a strip of paper around the perimeter so I can get all my shear pins on the same same plane. Okay. Just want to put one there, one there, and one there. Now, just like we did before, we also need witness marks so that we can line up the nose cone later. So I'm going to draw one along that line there. I'm going to put one next to it. Now when you go to paint the rocket, you're going to need to redraw these lines. And you can make them smaller or you can make them um, so that they match whatever color of the rocket you're going to do. Uh, but that will help us line things up. So, safety glasses go on. Tap, you can actually do this with your fingers. You don't need a, any special tool, so you just kind of spin it in there, back it out a little bit, clean up your threads. Test fit one of my little screws here. Perfect. 
then I'll go ahead and do the other two. Now, to shear these off, um, according to the specs, we're going to need greater than 64 pounds of pressure pushing on the base of the nose cone. Since this is a four inch diameter nose cone, it works to be about five pounds per square inch inside of the tube to push that off. Um, if you go to an ejection charge calculator, they recommend that you use at least around 15 PSI in there to blow that off. Um, so for this particular rocket, um, the ejection charge calculators tell me that I'm going to need about 1.2 grams of black powder to push that off. So that's the minimum amount that I'm going to need when I put my ejection charge in for my dual deployment. Um, so again, check with those ejection charge calculators based on the, the volume. And this is the volume because you can see this is the base of the nose cone and this is the upper end of the uh, eBay. So I've got about 12 and 3 quarter inches long and it's 4 inches in diameter. Um, so based on that, that's the amount of black powder that I'm going to need to push that off. So that is how you install your shear pins. Pretty easy.